We're doing the Pooh Air <laughs> Cup today. We've got three excellent candidates. Candidate number one, thank you very much. Harney. <laughs> Harney Pooh Air, Harney and Sons. Le Bowl is enthusiastic. Let me look at this here, it's beautiful. Second, we're gonna do Numi Emperor's Pooh Air. Love it, love it, love it. And then you guys. Wait a minute. We love this stuff. We absolutely love Emperor's Pooh I think we actually had it for breakfast yesterday. Mmm, that's good stuff. And um, then our new friend T. Vive here. Oh, look at that. And read the name of that one. Manghai Golden Buds Tribute Ripen to Air Cake T2015. One. Let's move some of this visual. One color. heaping teaspoon. Two and a half teaspoons. There we go. And there we go. Okay. And first one we rinse for debris and such. Go and ahead. then I get to pour. And she's going to pour. She is the official pourer. I can do it. Pooh air pourer. Yeah, Kenny thinks it's a very funny name. Yes. Okay, move those fingers. We want them still to be intact. So we'll get some lovely smells here. Actually, we were supposed to smell the leaves before we okay, well, did this. Oh, well. Let's smell the package. Mmm, mm, poo air. Dark, mossy. <laughs> yeah. A mossy, dark poo air. I don't know, basement-y. That is, okay, you're storing your tea in the basement. No, because no, 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 no. Because is fermented. The color. Mm, Dark. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, sniffing the wet leaves before we taste anything. We love Harney. Um, we especially love their flavored teas. They excel in that. Mm, yours smells better than mine. Oh, that's... <laughs> Mama, we have the exact <laughs> same thing. <laughs> you were smelling mm. the, <laughs> the dry leaves. Mm. Oh. I'm getting like a, okay, I feel a... Uh, bran? Oat no. bran? Like a sweet note. I'm what starting to it? feel like a tea snob here. <laughs> you look like one too. Well, I don't think tea snobs wear Cabela hoodies. She's a relaxed smell tea that. snob. Does that not smell kind of sweet to you? Mm-hmm. Pu'er definitely has a sweet note, and this Harney and Sons um, Pu'er has a little bit of a sweet note. Now we drink. Cheers. Hmm. Sharp. Oh, it's it's sweet at the back of the palate. Woody, barky. Almost mushroomy. Let me confer with my co-judge here. What do you think? It's delightful. Very good. It's delightful. Okay, now we will put that lump off to the side. We can store it in that teapot there. We're gonna do one, one tasting of each to get the results. Next contestant is Oh My Numi. <coughs> love, love me some Numi Emperor's who yeah, I've been drinking this for years. And we're gonna do two and a half teaspoons, just like Carney. And then for the TV, we're obviously going to be using what is pre-measured out for us, so, yeah. you know. You wanna use a lot of leaf when you do Gaiwan because you're infusing shorter time. Okay. All right. So now fill up our thing here. Okay, this is the rinse. Where did my lid lid go? There it is. It is. I must okay. have arm room for this. Arm room. All right. It is rinsed. There we are. So sniff these leaves. Mmm. Mm. Very roasted, Darker. very dark. Darker than the Harney. Here we go. Mm. 
So we wait a few seconds. So let's go ahead and smell the half wet, half dry leaves of Harney real quick. After. After use. Smells like it did before. Very nice, pooerish. Only a little bit sweeter. Pooer gets sweeter over time, and then it suddenly goes back to black. Back okay. to black. I think there may have been a movie by that name. Yeah, most likely. And the color of this one is a little lighter than the Harney. All right. Dur, 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 dur. <laughs> okay. Savor every last drop. Mmm. Stronger. Oh yes, stronger. Darker, woodier. It's just more. There's something about Emperor's Pu'er. It just oh, that's so good. It has a depth to it. It, it rests on your palate. It really does. It has a bit of the bite at the back of the tongue. And a stray leaf or two. Now, once we've picked the top two, we'll reinfuse those two. Mm -hmm. And I will open this TV sampler. We got a whole sample back. We got we did two videos on TV products. Just sat there drinking them. Hmm, they it were was good. Fun. Good, good, good. And this is yet another. Okay, you know what? Go ahead and warm that, and let okay. me open this. We are warming that. You kind of scare me when you do that. What? Open it. Mm -hmm. She's so frightened of me. The TV. Oh, this one is very large. So this you can't really measure because it's a big hunk. Because they actually took a poo air cake and chipped away at it to make samples. You can get poo air in loose, or you can get it in cakes that they press together. And this is a cake sample. You can see where it was pressed. You ready for some? Mm. Okay, we're smelling the dry leaves. It doesn't have much flavor. Not much flavor which yet. Is, which is good. You want the flavor to come out after you heat it up. Going to rinse. Get off any kind of sediment. Which, as you can see, there is a little bit of sediment. Um, and then smelling. Oh, it's been sitting around for a while, you know. Oh. She likes it. Mm. She likes it a whole lot. She likes it so much she's keeping it on her chin. Different. Good. Likey. Let's see, we've rinsed. Now we're. Don't do that in your hand. We're, um, this is for drinking. Look at the golden clearness of this one. This is a clearer color. That's why it's called golden. Well, I say now that is clever. But you remember the other two were dark. This one is more translucent. Let's look at this color. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. And it's lovely. It looks more orange on camera. So this is look our. Look at that color. Beautiful color. Oh wow! I got all of these. <laughs> Thank Sorry you very much. about that. You were, hang on. Professional leaf pourer here. Yeah, do Yours that again. will continually stew. Interesting <laughs> fact: you have another chance on a guy one. Here we go. Let me adjust the lid to a different position. Oh, so nice. Except uh, that you. They keep coming out. All right, that's. Going a little nuts here. Yes, I know. I'm She's perfectionist. torturing me. Well, okay. I'm not drinking anything either. You're going to cool off my tea here. No, it is still very warm. Fingers are aware of that. Okay, stop now. Stop now. There you go. There. Sort of. Okay. So we're going to smell this. Cool. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mushroomy. Mm. It, it definitely has a mushroom, but it's also a little bit sweet. It's a sweet mushroom. Mm. Yeah. It, now, uh, why I would want to drink something that smells like a basement, I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> Fermentation is your friend. It's supposed to be good for your stomach, too. Mm. If you go read mm. TV's website, they mm. talk about how good pu'er is mm. for your digestion. Okay, so let's pick our top two. 
Easy enough. TV and Numi. So we get to reinfuse those. Bye, Harney. We, Good we, showing, Harney. We liked it. Good show, but but uh, we not like in the top three. we like their not flavored the teas better. Yeah, all of you know, we are Harney girls. But for more of the flavored teas, the more straight teas, we do. TV other brands. TV. So. Now we'll do these head to head. Okay, so. So the little cup is TV. The big cup is. Wait, the, the medium. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, because the big bag is. Numi. Yeah, that's. So where's the Numi behind you? Numi. This is Numi. Okay. So Numi and TV. We're going to go head to head here for the second infusion. Numi. No humming. Hmm. Numi. TV. Look at the original. Like, this one definitely has a little bit of a brighter kind of color. Okay. Numi. TV. TV now dark. Numi. Pour just a little bit so we can get the impression and not as many leaves. And then very quickly, TV. Pouring TV. Oh, that pours so nicely. Mm, look at that. Okay, okay. so this one, uh, Numi first. Numi. Mm. Beautiful. <gasps> oh, it's. it's mm, I don't like it as much on the second infusion. It's still good. But it's not quite as good. Woody, barky, mushroomy. It's lost some Fermented. of that. I don't know, I, I kind of think it's lost some of its charm. Because I wonder this, why that is. This one isn't made to be reinfused. And TV. Mm. Smell it. Mm. Mm, fragrant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Mm, oh, that's just, it's nice so okay. different. The reason the Numi lost its charm is because he compared it to DV. I love Numi. I will continue to buy and drink Numi. TV, however, is, is top the winner. Notch. So here we have our mm -mm -mm. beautiful wet leaves just flaking off beautifully. Mm, chocolatey note. Mm. Oh, so we're gonna, mm. we're gonna put my friend Numi aside. Love you, Numi. You you did an excellent job there. Great but job. But now we're gonna Numi. do a third infusion on TV. Congratulations, winner TV. Love Numi. Love Harney. No comparison. Here's my friend TV number three. If you guys are wondering why I always pour out the last little bit of my tea, it's because I don't like drinking the leaves. So I strain it with my teeth, and then when I can't get that, I just pour the rest out. I just drink around them. How? Also, you can do this and get them out. That is literally why I don't drink all of my tea in the morning. Is that why? Mm-hmm. Leaves. I just thought she was losing interest. It's a big old 12 ounce cup. Yeah. Number three. Mm. Don't you just love an, uh, uh, mm. Mm. How's it different? More mellow. Mm -hmm. Less sweet, more mellow. It. Getting to. Mm. Chocolify a little, slightly. It's it's like ninety eight percent chocolate, I would say. But like you mean, it, you mean it tastes like ninety eight percent chocolate? If you fermented ninety eight percent chocolate in tree bark, <laughs> that sounds delicious, <laughs> doesn't it? Dark chocolate has a serious bite 
that is, and, and I've had 100% chocolate. That is actually very good. Very good in small amounts. Put it, put it on an apple. Because then you get the sugar. With a little bit of salt. Hmm. But this is, this is tasty. Number four. That's what I was recommend. Hey, you, I want to pour it this time. You want to pour it this time. You've been doing it all this I've time. I've been pouring it. She wants to pour it. I like this. When Emma was a little girl, I embroidered her a shirt that said, I will do it myself. She wore that shirt proudly for years. I will do it myself. Still say it. That's Quite still her motto. My, my motto in life. Drink her dump there. Look how dark this is becoming. Mm. It's darkening as the different things leach out into the water. Mm. Okay, pour me some of that beautiful stuff. So good. So good. Tasty. Oh, look at that. And remember how light the first infusion was by number four? We are dark. Look at that pour. Little tiny droplets of Okay, tea. now woody. Downright woody. The wood. I like it. It's not bright. When we had a raw pooer, that was bright and green. Mm. This is dark brown, if that would be a flavor. Chocolate. Dark brown is chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate is dark brown. Look at those leaves. Mm. Doesn't that just make you happy? Have you liked and subscribed yet? We are just a delight to behold. And I know you want to spend all your time with us. So be sure that you make that happen. Okay, some of you I know for sure. <laughs> and I do appreciate you like, stopping in. you know, family. And uh, we're very happy that some of Emma's school teachers have signed on to us. That's cool. Pretty. Okay. I love just watching it drop, like in those coffee mm. commercials that they do. Only this is better. This is tea. Serious. Now, any would disagree with me on that fact, but, you know. Yeah. <sighs> of course, round in, what are we, six or five here? I think this might be six. Five. Because we had our first infusion, and then we did second, then third, then fourth. This is fifth. Round this is when I start adding cream, which Emma thinks is a Calm blasphemy. Calm yourself, woman. But I, oh, cream had such depth. You gotta try cream in your tea, or milk if you'd rather, or butter if you got a blender. Some of our viewers think that's strange. Hi, Gusty. He also thinks putting Jello in his tea is strange, as for some Darlin, odd reason. Darlin, putting Jello in your tea is strange. I know, but that's my daily shenanigans that I like to do. Emma's full of shenanigans. Okay, so goodbye. So we see you again. Make sure to make time for tea in a good book. And today it's tea.